So then a firewall, for all definition, is ba it's an inline system that enforces an access control policy between different network segments, which from the follow point of view is going to be defined a security zone. So that can be like between VLANs uh, or between uh, different regions of the network. And the firewall can be either a software device or a hardware device and in general responds automatically to detected attacks. Like for example, if you look at our diagram in here, I have the ASA 3 to be my firewall, which is clearly going to be configured in such a way to control bidirectional traffic between its interfaces. So the firewall is going to be configured to control traffic flowing both in this direction and also traffic flowing in this direction. So both from router 4 towards the rest of the network and also from the rest of the network towards router 4. So this is a, a layer 3 implementation of the firewall. We're going to speak about different variations of uh, deployments. So what are your options to de deploy a firewall in the network and when would you use uh, one over the other? Either way, so that's a, a let's say, a, a basic firewall which stands, it, it's, it's somewhere in the network. In my case, if you remember what I was speaking yesterday, in my case it was added in here because I was assuming that this was the edge of my network towards the internet. So like router 4 was the internet router, so at the edge of the network I'm deploying a firewall to protect, to not to protect myself from the internet uh, exactly, but to be able to control all traffic passing back and forth, back and forth from the LAN to the internet and from the internet to the LAN. So this item here is going to be uh, from LAN to the internet, this direction from LAN to the internet direction. I'm going to be able to control what traffic is allowed from the users towards the internet. And the other way around is going to be from the internet to the LAN. I'm going to allow which traffic is allowed to come in the network as initiated from the internet. Which is going to be useful only in case I have some kind of public services which I want it to be reachable from the internet and I want to safeguard the network entry from the internet with a firewall. Optionally, it can also enforce security within, within a network segment, segments like within a, within a VLAN. That's the option when the file is going to be configured and deployed in a network as a layer 2 device, not as a layer 3 device. So currently in my network in here, the file is being deployed as a layer 3 device, not as a layer 2 device, because its interfaces connected to the network, Gig01 and Gig00, they belong to different subnets. So this is the subnet of 136.1.37 and this in here is the subnet of 136.1.47. So because the between the interfaces of the router I have different uh, IP subnets, it means that the file is going to de be deployed in layer 3 mode, which means the file is going to have also IP addresses on the interfaces connected on those subnets. For example, it's going to have that 16 in this subnet and that 16 in this subnet as well. So the firewall is deployed in layer 3 not because it's connected to different VLANs, but because on, on the two interfaces that the firewall owns and has connected to the network, those are two different IP subnets. Because otherwise I could have configured uh, the firewall in layer 2 mode and of course still keeping the VLANs to be different because that's how I can send traffic back and forth to a layer 2 firewall by putting different VLANs connected to different interfaces of the ESA. So VLAN 47 is going to be connected to Gig00 and VLAN 37 to Gig01. But if I would want this to be a layer 2 firewall, then on both sides of the network, so both of those network segments, VLAN 37 and VLAN 47, so both of them, VLAN 37 and VLAN 47, would have to be connected to the same IP subnet. Like for example, 136.1.100.0.24. So in the case that a firewall is connected um, with two of its interfaces, let's say in this case, of course to different VLANs, but if the, the two VLANs are actually sharing the same subnet, it means that the firewall is going to be deployed in layer 2 mode, which means that the firewall is not going to have any kind of IP addresses on its physical interfaces. 
is going to have a specific global IP address, which in Cisco's case is required not only for management purposes, but also for the file to be able to pass IP traffic back and forth. And that has a use case, uh, but it's a long discussion. We have to understand exactly uh, why we need an IP address on a f layer 2 firewall in order for the file to forward IP traffic back and forth. So it's usually deployed at network edges, like on untrusted uh, points of the network towards the internet, as it was my case, towards WAN links. So towards, uh, like for example, on WAN links could be links that you have connections with third parties, so with, with companies that you uh, exchange back and forth information for whatever reason, data. And additionally, it's also an exception to the uh, edge deployment, which is going to be the data center deployment. So also, most companies have a one or multiple files deployed at the data center entrance in order to make sure that whatever leaves the data center and whatever enters the data center is being controlled by a file. But otherwise, except that, that um, exception, most of the times you're going to deploy the file at the untrusted boundaries of your network. Which, of course, the data center is an edge of the network, but it's a trusted site because it's which you, which it, where your most of your data resides in the data center. And, of course, a file has to be resistant to attacks against itself. So it's usually being deployed as a layer 3 in most cases, as I was saying, which is also our case. Thus, if, it, if, it's, if it's deployed as a layer 3 hub, it means that is, it is reachable by the attacker at the IP level. So you got to make sure that the attacker cannot take over the firewall by any kind of attacks destined to the firewall itself.